evening. Juanita Phillips with ABC News. A predatory sexual culture, bullying and bounties on female sailors. They're just some of the claims to rock the Navy during another inquiry into sexual misconduct. The trouble is alleged to have happened on HMAS success, with sailors plotting to have sex with as many female crewmates as possible. The investigation heard that inappropriate behaviour had been going on for more than a year and was getting worse. It's the second inquiry into the claims. The first one by the Defence Department was found to be biased. Commanding Officer Simon Brown was in charge of HMAS success when the allegations of inappropriate behaviour were first raised last April by three senior female crew. At a meeting that lasted almost an hour, they raised concerns about the bullying of junior female officers into having sex, a predatory culture within the ship's engineering department to force female sailors to act against their will alleged bounties on junior female sailors to see who could have sex with them first, and drinking games on shore leave to get female sailors drunk so they'd be more compliant. Commander Brown told the inquiry he was shocked and surprised by the claims, but he'd noticed an unusually large number of junior female officers had failed random breath tests after HMAS success stopped at its first two ports last April. After the third port in China, he said there were rumours that two sailors had had sex on a pool table in a public bar as others watched on and cheered, but no action was taken. Three crew members were expelled in Singapore because of threats of physical violence, but proposed sanctions against them were never enforced. The role of the Commission of Inquiry is not to find out if any criminal offences were committed or if disciplinary action should be taken. Its focus is to investigate what happened and how it was handled, not to apportion blame. The hearing is expected to last until the end of April. Rebecca Barrett, ABC News, Sydney.